A decades-old study that said vaccines cause autism is now being called an elaborate fraud. British doctor Andrew Wakefield released the study 12 years ago, saying the MMR vaccine can cause autism in children shortly after being vaccinated. News on this reporter Dan Bewley is here with the new developments. Dan. That's area the 1998 study launched a movement in the UK and here in the United States to encourage parents to keep their children from being vaccinated. But the paper has been retracted and now its main author is accused of making it all up. Dr. Patrick Daly has been a practicing pediatrician for 30 years. It didn't hurt. For the last decade, he's seen an increase in parents worried about the MMR vaccine. That's measles, mumps and rubella. It all stems from former British doctor Andrew Wakefield who said he performed a study that linked the MMR vaccine to autism. Uh, I think it's especially bad because it has scared a lot of people at, uh, about not giving their kids the vaccinations and there are complications of those diseases and death is certainly one of them. But Wakefield's infamous study has been retracted from publication and his medical license has been revoked in England. Now an investigation into the study is calling it an elaborate fraud. Among the findings from the British Medical Journal, Andrew Wakefield changed the medical histories of his patients. The children were recruited from anti-MMR organizations. Five of the 12 children in the study showed symptoms of developmental problems before given the vaccine and that Wakefield received money from lawyers looking to make a case against the MMR vaccine. Despite the results, Wakefield stands by his study and told CNN the reporter behind the BMJ investigation has an axe to grind. He is a hitman. He's been brought in to take me down because they are very, very concerned about the adverse reactions to vaccines that are occurring in children. Dr. Daly isn't buying it. He's very angry by Wakefield's behavior and has no doubt the MMR vaccine is safe. Is there any connection between the MMR vaccine and autism? I'm going to give that a big no. I think it's very safe, and I think the kids ought to get it. And Dr. Daly says the study has caused parents to question other vaccines as well, which has put children at risk for diseases that are normally under control, such as whooping cough. Now you can read the BMJ's complete article online. Just click on newson6.com and look for the web version of this story. Dan Buley, News on 6.